dirty. I did. I sold my home in Silicon Valley for like $2 million. In Ukraine, I was shocked, but this took me two weeks. <laughs> three years. Three years. <laughs> yeah, three years rest in officially... Hello guys. Oh, I'll get today with you. Now I'm gonna f to meet my uh, client. Uh, we uh, make him residence card, American client, and also he purchased an apartment. And actually, I'm gonna make apartment tour. I'm gonna show how this apartment looks. And we are gonna talk about prices with Thomas. His name is Thomas. And we'll talk how much did it cost? What is the taxes? Which apartment you should expect? How the process is different from US and Ukraine? So, so if you are really interested in real estate and you know American system especially, then welcome. Please watch this video to the end. I'm sure it would be very interesting for you. I was able to find the parking successfully because in this place it's always not easy. And let us check the area. Uh, it's an area called Pechersk. Uh, in general, it's very prestige area because it has so many nice uh, new buildings this is the building it's all soviet building but very repaired next to it exactly something new the yard is quiet small organized <laughs> just cars also another new building around let's see what's inside okay Let's go. So far, no there is elevator, but let's go by stairs. I don't risk with such elevators. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is Thomas. <laughs> And this is the before video, so it's not clean yet, it's not organized. Here's my temporary office <laughs> and the family room. <clears throat> I slept here for two nights when I first got here. It's 81 square meters. It's got these beautiful... Windows. And you can tell how much it is in square feet compared to US measurements? Uh, 81 times 9... 770 square feet, I think. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. And it worked out to this be... This is very great for mosquitoes. No mosquitoes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and this... That's the yard. And there's parking. So when I ship my car here to Odessa Mama, <laughs> <laughs> I'll park my car right there, which is nice. But it's not reserved parking, right? It's just who come first. It's first come, first <laughs> serve. So it's for the people who live here. And I think most people don't have cars or people over here steal parking spaces. Yeah, I guess it's fine. And you can park <laughs> on the street also. I yes. find the parking on the yeah. street. So all new windows. It's an old Soviet building. So it was, it was built in 1969 is what I was told. I love the character, but it's been remodeled. See, it has a nice recessed lighting. Little, uh, decorative uh, brick wallpaper. And um, I love this door. There's a little stained glass. It came with uh, the TV mount, so I have to buy TVs. I have one I'm buying from Comfy. Oh, okay. You find this is the best deal? Uh -huh. And then the kitchen was remodeled, I think, about four or five years ago. <clears throat> so it, um, I need a refrigerator, of course, still. Um, washer dryer combo. But this is nice. It's a uh, push button, so it's got a nice blum finish. Um, good storage. Love it. Lots of storage here. Plenty of room for one single man. <laughs> um, and Thomas is a big guy from Silicon Valley. He's just <laughs> very shy. <laughs> I'm a shy man. No, I'm not a shy man actually. <laughs> I noticed in Ukraine, you all you all have these dish racks up above in the cupboard for some reason. Because you are not using the, when you are not using the washing machine, this the dishwashing machine. This is where you will dry the things. What's interesting, in the U.S. we put a dish rack right here. Ah, uh, yeah. So it so takes up counter space. I guess because your this kitchen in general is always very big and our kitchen is very small. So we, we try to keep as much space as we can. I did. I sold my home in Silicon Valley for like $2 million and uh, it was 2,500 square feet. 
which is, I have to get my calculator <laughs> divided by nine. It's a lot of square meters. It was five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Yeah. Nice big yard. But yeah, this, this place includes a dishwasher, which I understand is kind of a luxury here. Yeah, that's a good one. So nice Siemens. And then, yeah, the dish rack is up there. remember so it's not clean yet <laughs> uh, microwave oven convection oven from Whirlpool so it's really nice a two, yeah. bur two burner stove over here so I'm used to having I used to have six but this is this is plenty Alexei tells me most people only use two true yeah, so and other fun. use like storage for yeah, the fans and then uh, oven of course so it's got everything I need Another TV mount, of course. You have three TVs in here. There's more than I have. So, kitchen, family room, hallway. And uh, yeah, the seller's agent, I need to put photos here of my daughters, my friends, my family. Uh, bathroom, it's not clean. <laughs> it's fine. Good water heater, this is important. If you're moving to Ukraine, make sure you have a nice big, I think it's an 80 liter yeah, yes. boiler, water heater. And it's connected to the, the building, the Soviet building, hot water too. So, all good. Plenty of hot water. That's a nice remodel too. So the washing machine dryer, I'm, getting, I'm buying a combination one. So it'll go right down here. Here's the hookup, electric. Here's the water. So. It's different because in the United States we have a laundry room or it goes in the garage. Believe but this it. is not in apartments. This is if you have a house. House, yeah. yeah. Single we, family we're home. here in apartments, we need to remind right. you. <laughs> so it's going to go right there. It's, I've never yeah. used a washer dryer combination though, so it's going to be all in one. Yeah, true. I've never Actually, used I need to tell you that most of them don't have dryers, so make sure that you're buying the one with dryer. The heat, I like my real yeah. estate. My real estate agent's great. Anybody <laughs> need a referral, I can give it to you. He is wonderful. Alexa, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna buy a combination. Actually, I'm buying a combination one to go in here. Maybe some storage here, so I get the stuff off the counter. Um, <laughs> oh, I love. Actually, here let me show you the bedrooms, and I'll show you the wardrobe. So here's the. It was a children's room. The sellers had two children. So they have, actually they had more furniture in here. So I had, I had to ask them to take some more stuff out. I want to buy a bed here for my guests and my daughter who will come. Sophia will come here. It's a nice big room though, it's comfortable. Yeah, so it's really big room. I'm going to do some remodeling, maybe update the wallpaper. <laughs> it's a good wallpaper, by the way. And you can see it's the children were here. So yeah. It's, it's cute, actually. This is to have the light in the, it's glowing at night. Right. Yeah. My daughters do the same thing. <laughs> a good storage, a couple desks so I can work right here, so I don't need anything. So, the sellers included the, uh, so sometimes if you buy an apartment here, sometimes furniture is included, sometimes furniture is not included. So it really depends. So, yeah, if the seller don't need this furniture for himself, so he will sell it all together for you. Right. And so if you if you don't want to, for me, for me as a buyer, it was important for me to have good furniture, good location, right price. We got a great price in this place too. We got, we're very lucky, very lucky. Um, good sellers. You have to know the process. You have to have a good real estate team, an agent notary real estate attorney who can review all the documents too because it's very different than the united states and then for me i wanted to have furniture so i didn't have to worry about too much and move in quickly so i just spend time shopping i did buy a mattress which finally arrived yesterday so and now back to comfy or somewhere else to buy sheets so this is the master bedroom, which I love. So I slept here last night, yay. <laughs> no sheets yet. But you was having the bed, right? But you didn't have the mattress on the bed. They left the bed, yeah, but I wanted to buy a new mattress. So yeah, it makes here. sense. And uh,
I bought at a place called Mattress Song. Oh, and you have balcony. And I love this. This is when I'm all settled in, I'm going to have my coffee out here every morning, I think. So another second balcony. Yeah. Which oh, is great. That's pretty nice. So this is Pratslavinska Street right here. Uh, there is a lamp. I see that you will have light at night. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice yeah, that's nice. So it's really nice. And there's laundry uh, oh, yeah. right here for drying your clothes. Too. The sinks. <laughs> yeah. So it's an old Soviet building, but they did some nice renovations. Yeah, uh, and sometimes I know by myself that if you want some nice location in Kiev, sometimes you don't have other choices, uh, only Soviet buildings. Yeah. Because, or yeah. you can buy a, a, an apartment in a, in a big tower, like the building across the street or down the way. Yeah, but they're not always available, not in all locations. If you want some nice location next to metro station, sometimes all Soviet building is your option. This is perfect for me. I wanted to, honestly, Maybe I'm a little different, but I wanted the Soviet character. That's fine. <laughs> With a, but remodeled inside like this. I mean, look, they have nice, this is called, uh, gosh, I can't remember the English name now. This trim here. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, actually, it's not that high quality. It looks good. It's not about and, high quality. It's the, uh, from this uh, form based. The doors look good. It's got nice oak floors. So these are great. And then let me show you this, everybody. A built-in wardrobe. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. This was a big selling a point for me. <laughs> yeah. Tons of storage. Yeah, that's a good one. Really. Yeah, it's great. All the way up to the top. So, I like it. It is perfect. And it's quiet. And comfortable. And voila. And then I'll have a clean tomorrow and have appliances. So... I hope we can do an after video shoot. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, tell us some notes uh, which you notice as an American what is different in real estate purchase between Ukraine and US. Okay. When you purchase real estate, like in California, for example, there's um, you have so many people involved and so many uh, different entities involved. You have your real estate agent, your seller, this agent, the buyer's agent. You have something called a title company, which gives you insurance during the process. Uh, you have um, uh, the insurance company, you have uh, uh, an appraiser who determines the value of the property also. You have to pay for all these services. So, and then you have an escrow, we call an escrow period of 30 to 45 days for all this process to be done. And then usually everybody, I would say everybody, but I would say 80% of the Americans purchase their homes using bank loans. And I noticed, because I grew up in West Germany too, is that people buy here using cash. So you don't want to have a big loan. But in the United States, debt is the American way. So you have to have the bank approval too. And you have to get your bank loan. They have to do a credit check and they have to check all your assets. So it's a really long process. And 30 to 45 days before you close and everybody gets their money and you take the keys to the place. In Ukraine, I was shocked, but this took me two weeks. <laughs> And that's only because I was in Kharkiv with my team there. Um, we made an offer. I put a deposit down of $3,000. Uh, I had my real estate uh, attorney look at the documents of the seller. So he already looked them up at the National Register. Yeah, he's clear. No debt, no encumbrances, no liens. Um, and then but it's we, basically don't take two weeks even. It takes from you two weeks because you wasn't present here. Only because I was in Kharkiv. It could have taken like a week or less actually. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. So it's a really fast process, but we had a, everybody was great. Okay, let's <laughs> talk about numbers so Americans will understand. What is the commission for real estate agents here in Ukraine? It's actually pretty close to US and California. So it's like three to 4%. Um, what other expenses you have when you're buying? You're so paying taxes, right? You're paying for notary. I paid 1% in taxes. So I paid 1% of the purchase price in taxes. I paid for the notary fees. I paid for, it was mandatory to have a translator because I'm still, I now I have my residence card, but at the time I didn't. Yeah, this is for notary. They make insurance that, right. they make sure that you understand what you are doing. Yeah. That's why they ask you. So what's the notary fees? How much you pay? So people will understand. It was about, it was it's about $200, $220, right? the whole yeah. thing. 
and yeah. she was really good. Her, Anna, Anya was really, <laughs> really good. Very professional. Uh, it was right next to the bank. The other thing I would say, if you're a foreigner, if you don't have a residence card yet, you need to open an investment account, like at Piraeus Bank, and then transfer the funds there, and then purchase the apartment through so that. So how did you try? You, I will tell them later the price. How, <laughs> they're still guessing how much you pay, but how much did he pay? Yeah, he transferred a big amount. How was the process of transferring this money? Uh, because did they ask a lot of uh, documents from your U.S. bank no. or whatever? No. Um, so my my real estate uh, real estate attorney Igor. He was very knowledgeable, so he said, open an account at Piraeus Bank, it's a Greek bank, and they have branches here in the Ukraine. Um, I brought my passport and ID and everything, open a, a, a dollar account and a Grivna account. And then I transferred from my bank in the United States, Citibank or JP Morgan Chase, the amount that, I did a couple of test transfers and I, then I transferred the big amount. And <laughs> I paid my small bank fees, but then, Piraeus Bank took their, for me it was significant because in the United States we don't pay very much in bank fees. Usually we don't pay very much, but they charge a couple hundred dollars to then transfer it, then take the transfer. Then I transfer it to uh, my personal bank account from the investment account. That was the complicated process actually. This whole thing, that was the most complicated thing I would say. But how much in time it take for you to transfer this money? Uh, it wasn't the transfer was fast. It was all the time spent in the bank and setting up everything. So we literally spent all day long in banks. Hmm. And to open an <laughs> investment account, you didn't have residence by that time. What mm -hmm. what documents you present to them? Passport, uh, tax ID. So I, I did have my thanks to you, Olga. I have my Ukrainian tax ID. So I, you need that first. You need a passport. Um, that was it. Yeah, pretty yeah, simple. Pretty much. <laughs> but it just takes a long time because they have to set it all up manually, set it up for you, test the account, um, and then you have to transfer funds. How you pay to the seller? So it was in cash, it was to bank account, or what it was? At oh, all? so 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 um, so what we did this this was a this in fact this was probably the most complicated process because the uh, the contract itself. I mean, the contract itself was was really simple. And oh, here's my official purchase document. Woohoo! <laughs> and my architectural plans. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's official, and it's registered in my name and the Ukrainian registry too. But the most complicated part, I think, was we. So because I, I was still a foreigner at the time, I didn't have my residence card, which Olga and I are going to go ahead and get today. Yay. <laughs> Um, you have to, I had to set up an investment account in U.S. dollars at Piraeus Bank because they have the low, they have the lowest fees. There are other options, but we decided on Piraeus. Uh, Piraeus? Piraeus. Piraeus, yeah. It's a Greek, a Greek bank. And so I, but I had to have a, an investment account, which is where I put my money, and then transfer it to my personal account, which is then where I pay from to the sellers. They also had to set up an account there. So that we can do the transfer with minimal cost, low commissions. And so that's how we did it. And everything worked out great. Yeah. And the bank, the bankers were wonderful, Svetlana and Elena. <laughs> yes, now we know that you buy, now everybody know that you buy apartment with $125,000. But uh, see, we have a lot of Americans, I have a lot of American requests who think that about buying an apartment for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. What you can tell them? Mm. And based on which they think that Ukraine can have such prices, because this is not U.S. prices as well. Twenty or thirty thousand dollars, if you go into the countryside, maybe. <laughs> but what about Kiev? Not in city center Kiev. No, 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 no. It's um, for a brand new building, you could pay three thousand dollars per square meter. Okay, I've learned a lot in the last three. I've learned a lot. I learned a lot in the buying process here because I'm going to buy another property actually in Kharkiv. But so in the city center of Kiev for a brand new tower, it's probably $3,000 per square meter. I got really lucky and got this for $1,500 a square meter, which is a really good price. So everybody says, everybody I talk to says, yeah, great true. Price. I, I agree also. That's a great <laughs> price for a great location the attorneys, and great apartment. The agents, the notary, everybody, all that everybody says. But so, but expect to pay $2,000 a square meter, typically on average, for Soviet building with nice remodel like this. I mean, this nice remodel. Um, so no. 
for just do the math. If you have a, a hundred square meter apartment at two thousand dollars per square meter, two hundred thousand dollars. That's two hundred thousand dollars. So no, you need to reset your expectations if you're an American coming here. But I will tell you, coming from San Francisco, it's ten per ten or fifteen twenty percent of the price from back in California. Yeah, sure. So it's just it's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> I guess California is the most expensive in the United States, it, even. It, uh, that in New York City, yeah. But it's, you know, this apartment in San Francisco would be over a million dollars, honestly. So I think there's a great quality of life here in Ukraine, and I think uh, you get a lot for your money. Yeah. Okay. So I guess you really, we already 21 minutes on the tour. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I guess it was really useful for our viewers. Yeah. My residence card. Yay. Thank you, Olga. Thank you. Spasiba. Huh? Yeah, just sign. Pachitska. Propeska. Signature. Ah, I can never say the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got where is your residence card? There it yes, is. Three years. <laughs> three years. Yeah, three years residence card. I'm officially a Ukrainian resident. Yeah, officially Ukrainian residence. Now Yay. he just needs to register in his own apartment. Mm -hmm. And that's all. The things is set up. Okay, now we are headed to the party. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> happy guys. Spasiba. I'm very happy. So just to summarize how were the things. So apartment costed $125,000. Uh, he paid also 1% tax and he paid to notary fees something like $200, $250. And um, he got his residence cards for three years based on company formation. Uh, the whole process costed him $2,500. We help him with all the things. Uh, we support him in um, all the process. This is what we are doing actually with all the clients, not just with Thomas. I'm uh, not always talking about that. But if you are thinking about moving to Ukraine for retirement, for example, you're thinking about real estate purchase, you need any other help in Ukraine, you're always welcome to write me, contact my company, write to my email, please. And we will try to make the things as smooth as we can and the most good for you. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Appreciate it so much. Bye-bye.